Hi, and in this instructional video, I'm going to show you how to make custom borders in Simple Booth and logos. So I'm going to show you an example I just made here, going under Photos, and I just took and made this one right here. So it's a happy birthday template. You have an overlay on top, and then you have a logo at bottom. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing you want to do is download a couple of free apps. One of them is Photoshop Mix right here. And the other one is in an app, it's a website link, okay? You can make a website link on your iPad and that's all this one is right here. It's called pngtree.com, okay? And then Simple Booth is the app we're gonna show. And if you wanna have a little bit fancier graphics, there's a paid app right here, this purple one, it's called Affinity, A-F-F-I-N-I-T-Y, okay? So, what we're gonna do is go into Simple Booth first. I'm gonna show you what the settings are to make this. So under your design, you have the option to create a logo. And you notice the logo size right here is 960 by 213 pixels. And you also have the option here to create an overlay image. And that size is 1280 by 1978 pixels. Unfortunately, Simple Booth doesn't let you do this when the, inside the app. So you have to use a separate, separate graphic editor app. I'm going to show you on the, the iPad. You can choose the logo position here. So if you choose the middle, it's off to the side because there's only one picture. If you choose the top, it's on top of the overlay, so that really doesn't work that good. So in this situation, we're gonna put on the bottom. You can also change the background color to black, or if you want it blue or red, you could download a blue or red image and choose that blue or red image from your photo camera roll, and that way you would have a colored background to your liking. The other thing that's really cool is you can change the margins here, so you can make it the big margin are smaller, and you can also change the corners here. So you could have it almost be a circle or just have a slight radius corner, which is what I like here. So now that we know what we have to do, let's get into how to do it. This Photoshop Mix, M-I-X, is the program we're gonna use. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the back arrow in the upper left-hand corner and click on the plus sign here to make a new custom canvas. We're gonna start out with the Simple Booth logo, and we're gonna have that be the size indicated in the app, which is 1920 by 426 pixels. And we're gonna hit create here. Oops, I already um, had that name. So this is the logo, it's skinny and wide because it goes on the bottom of the strips usually or bottom of the picture. You click on this plus sign in the center right hand side, you're gonna choose image and I'm gonna choose this balloon image here, which I, nope, we can't use that one. Um, let me go ahead and delete that. Um, delete, that's the one I already made. So let's go to image and choose uh, this first one here, okay? It says, do you wanna resize the canvas? No, you don't have to, okay? So we're gonna make this a little bit bigger here and push it off to the side just by pinching it with our two fingers here. Then we're gonna add a text layer here. So we're gonna add text. And I want the text to be kind of scrunched in this area here. So I'm gonna make the box that big. I'm gonna click on the, oops, let me tap this to edit it. And we're gonna say happy, oops. Okay, and we're gonna hit done there, and we're gonna change the size of it by clicking on the size in the bottom corner there. Make it about yay big. The color, we'll make red, and the font, we're gonna choose, oh, let's see how Zappafino looks. No, that's too big. Um, how about party? It's a little bit small, so for the size, it's. Okay. That's about good right there. Okay, so here's our logo. In the upper right-hand corner, you see a box with an up arrow. You wanna click on that icon, and then you wanna save it to your camera roll, and I'll save it. Now we're gonna go back and make the overlay. So I'm gonna click on the plus sign here to make a custom canvas, and then I'm gonna call this overlay, okay? And the size for the overlay is 
1536 by 2560 because that's what simple booth requires. Now, if you're gonna do a landscape orientation, these two numbers would be flipped. The width would be 2560 and the height would be 1536. So we're gonna go ahead and hit create. And you might be wondering where I got these images. I got them from pngtree.com. I pre-downloaded them. So we're gonna click on the plus and then image again. And we're gonna click on image here. And we're gonna go to this image I downloaded from pngtree.com. You get two free images a day. You can also uh, pay for a subscription if you want more than that per day. So I just pinched it, uh, zoomed it up, placed it in the top corner. I'm gonna place it a little bit higher. And then I'm gonna hit on the up arrow in the box in the upper right hand corner. And we're gonna go to uh, save it to the camera roll. It is saving, okay. Okay, so let's go back to Simple Booth Event Edition and let's get rid of all these um, overlays already made, okay? And let's change the background to white. Um, I have the margins and corners the way I want them. So let's click on Overlay Image and we're gonna go under All Photos and we're gonna click on the most recent one right here. That's our overlay. We're gonna click on the logo picture right here. We're gonna click on all photos and we're gonna go to the overlay I just made right over here. And the overlay is at the top underneath, I mean the logo is at the top underneath the overlay. So let's put the logo position at the bottom by clicking on the three lines with the bold line at the bottom um, right next to that logo there. So that looks pretty good to me. Um, the overlay does eat into the top of the picture a little bit, but you can just tilt your iPad so it is a little bit higher so that doesn't affect you. So we're gonna go ahead and click in the upper right-hand corner of the event setup. Uh, we have to choose a gallery, so we're gonna choose um, this junk test one. It gives you all this basic information. You're gonna hit launch, and then I'm gonna tap to start the booth here. I had the rear camera enabled, so that's why you're seeing the picture like it is. Okay, so there is our picture with the overlay and logo at the bottom. We're gonna click on next right here, and I'm just gonna text it to me real quick. Hit done. And now if you go into the photo booth roll, you're gonna see, uh, the second picture I took right there. So I hope you found this educational. You can do this with any of the layouts in Simple Booth. Um, so have fun with it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.